Nobel Prize in Medicine for 2022 has been given to Swante Paavo for his revolutionary work on DNA of extinct humans and human ancestors. He has been successful in genome sequencing of entire Neanderthal and in the process discovered a new type of human called Denisovan. Let us first understand what is genome sequencing. Genome sequencing is the process that involves deciphering the exact order of base pairs in an individual. These are adenine, cytosine, guanine and thymine. Human genome is made of 23 chromosome pairs, 22 autosomal chromosomes plus the sex determining X and Y chromosome. There are estimated 20,000 to 25,000 human protein coding genes and sequencing the genome is an important step towards understanding it. Swante Pabo and his team has been successful in sequencing genome of Neanderthal and in the process they have discovered new type of humans called Denisovans. Their research also showed that modern humans intermingled with Neanderthals and Denisovans to a significant degree and some ancient gene variants that we acquired from them are more frequently present in certain modern populations. Why is studying ancient DNA so difficult? Almost all DNA that's extracted from ancient remains is degraded into small fragments. The highly fragile DNA molecule is strongly affected by high temperatures, acidity in soil and other harsh conditions. A further complication is that microbes and even researchers handling the fossils can contaminate them with their own DNA, making it difficult to distinguish which genetic information in the remains is truly ancient and which has a modern source. So piecing together an ancient genome is like trying to put together a complex puzzle with missing and destroyed pieces and without any knowledge of what the puzzle should look like in the end. So how did Swante Pabo revolutionize the field? Before the discoveries by Pabo and his colleagues, most of our knowledge of ancient hominins and our evolution came from analysis of bones and artifacts found around the world, such as the Neanderthal bones that were first discovered in 1856. Many questions, however, could not be answered by analysis of ancient bones and artifacts alone. Through new sequencing technologies and advanced computational analysis, and with the help of an international group of collaborators, Pabo proved that it is possible to sequence DNA from 40,000 year old bones. In 2010, he and his group published the first full sequence of the Neanderthal genome, a feat that was once considered impossible. The Neanderthal genome resurrected a missing piece of the history of our ancient ancestors. His findings revealed, for example, that there was gene flow between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens means that they once intermingled and had children. Pabo's group also estimated that modern humans split from the more archaic humans about 550,000 to 760,000 years ago and Neanderthals and Denisovans split into distinct groups between 380,000 to 470,000 years ago. In 2008, Archaeologists discovered a finger bone in Denisova cave in the Altai mountains of southern Siberia. After the extraction of mitochondrial DNA from the finger bone and comparing it with mitochondrial DNA sequences taken from Neanderthal, modern day humans and early human from the Pleistocene, a bonobo and a chimpanzee, it was found that the DNA from the finger bone sample differed from that of modern humans by an average of 202 nucleotides and from that of chimpanzee by an average of 1462 nucleotides. In 2010, phylogenetic analysis, a method of showing how genetic changes lead to the evolution of different species or groups, confirmed that a new species of ancient human had been found named Denisovans after the cave. The Denisovan hominin they had studied seems to have lived in close proximity to Neanderthals and modern humans. Studying these genes, helped us in understanding how our immunity system work. For example, the genes that we inherited from our ancient ancestors are not always beneficial. In 2020, Pabo and his team discovered that people with certain ancient variants can be at greater risk for respiratory failure during SARS-CoV-2 infections. But in 2021, they discovered another reason inherited from Neanderthals that was associated with protection against severe COVID-19 
these gene variants may have survived because the circumstances that made them detrimental were not consistently present with the sequencing of neanderthal gene now it is possible to understand their evolution extinction and the evolution of humans so this was all for today see you in the next video thanks for watching have a nice day